Hey everybody, welcome back into the Parker and the Man page at yournews.com. Mark Wilson with your webcam this Friday, the uh, 16th of October. Yeah, Midnight Madness at Michigan State and Michigan for basketball, but it's also National Bosses Day. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh, but I was just looking it up, how Bosses Day came about and where it originated from. It actually originated from an employee at a state farm insurance agency office in Deerfield, Illinois, which is near my hometown of Northbrook. And I guess that the governor at the time, this was in the 60s, Otto Kerner, we ended up going to jail, <laughs> is the guy that um, pushed us through, so we would have National Bosses Day. It's a chance to honor your superior for being kind and fair throughout the year. I don't know, I just, you know, insert joke there, I, I suppose, in 2009. But So happy Bosses Day. If you're a boss and, you know, you like being a boss and you want a boss, you know, it's your day. So go out and celebrate and do whatever it is you do. Hey, check out the Parker and the Man page, <laughs> especially if you're a boss, I want you to check this out. It's all about the Packers-Lions, this streak that maybe I'm making a bigger deal about. Um, I think it's a big, hairy deal to me that this thing has gone on since 1991. The Lions have not won in Wisconsin since then. That's between County Stadium and Milwaukee, which is not even there anymore, and uh, Green Bay's great Lambeau Field. Uh, the last time the Lions won was in 91, so since the Brett Favre era began in 92, the Lions have never sniffed, tasted a win of any kind uh, over the northern Illinois border, <laughs> uh, southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois border there, uh, to get into Green Bay and Milwaukee. Uh, now all the games are played in Green Bay, and it's just been a, what a ride, huh? You know, you think how bad the Lions have been in 52 years, but... This really puts the stamp on it, this 18-game <laughs> this streak. And that includes the playoff loss. Don't let them kid you. There was a playoff loss in 94 on New Year's Eve to the uh, Packers. That's the day Barry Sanders had the 13 carries for minus one yard, his worst day in the NFL. Uh, cold day that day at Lambeau. They're all cold, it seems, because they play so many of these games in, late in the year. This is actually fairly early <laughs> in October. They played a lot of December games, as you know, if you've seen the schedule and seen the seasons go by. But the calendar's just rolled off. <laughs> And the Lions, no wins. Hey, boss, no wins. Way to go, boss. Uh, but that's uh, it's a little history. It's actually a longer piece. I really spent some time on it because I remember almost every one of the games. It'll be interesting to watch this weekend again to see if the Lions can break the streak. Um, there's a couple things going on. Donald Driver, with one catch, becomes the Packers' all-time leading receiver, passing uh, Sterling Sharp. I mean, they think of all the great receivers in 70-whatever years of Packers football, 79 years. And you think of um, Don Hudson, Max McGee, Boyd Dowler, uh, Sterling Sharp, James Lofton, Antonio Freeman, a ton of guys. And Driver will be the first, and with five catches, could be the first Packer ever to catch 600 balls in a career. No one's ever gone over 600. Sterling Sharp at 595. So Driver needs one. So that's a little subplot there. The Packers are 2-2. Two and two. They have their own issues. Aaron Rodgers wants to kind of downplay how bad their offensive line has been. Um, they're fresh off a of bye, so they're, they're, they're looking good. They're fairly healthy. The Lions, Matt Stafford, as of right now, probably not going to play. Culpepper, who has beaten the Lions, I mean, uh, the uh, Packers at Lambeau twice, including the playoff game back in uh, January of 05, uh, should be on the field. And, and you might as well rest Stafford. There's no reason to take a chance with this game and the uh, subsequent bye week coming up for the Lions as well. So Stafford, who didn't practice much, uh, probably going to sit. Which is good, because Culpepper should get a shot at this thing. <laughs> He's 0-6 as a Lions starting quarterback. So check it all out. It's all about the Lions-Packers series since 1991 and the streak. The streak. And we use the streak. Also check out Michigan State Northwestern homecoming in East Lansing. Always fun. Uh, Mike Kafka, pretty good quarterback for the Wildcats. You can't take them lightly at all there, Mark D'Antonio. And Michigan State should not do that. Michigan has Delaware State. This is that big game with the uh, Hornets of DSU, who uh, are 1-3 and three and have lost to Florida A&M, Delaware, and Bethune-Cookman. So if there's even an issue, if you lose to them, this isn't Appalachian State. At least Appalachian State was a champion in D2. This is a 1-3 and three team. Uh, if you lose, just keep on traveling that road back to Morgantown, Western Virginia. There you go. Mm -hmm. There, Rich Rodriguez, if you lose to Delaware State at home. Nick Lidstrom, congrats. Give it up to Nick. Come back in here. There you go. 1,000 points for his career, the eighth defenseman in history to do that, and the first European defenseman to get to 1,000 points. Very deserved for Nick, and of course he was very excited afterwards. You know, he hates those personal things anyhow, but that's about as excited as Nick would be. That was great. I like doing it at home. And the Wings got a win, 5-2 to two over the Kings. Philly's first win on Game 1 against the Dodgers in the NLCS. At Cole Hamels is something in Game 1s. He's won four of them now. He's only been in the league four years. 
Uh, that's some rarefied air he's in, too, with guys who've won game ones in their in their history and postseason play. So the Phillies' 8-6 win puts them up one nothing over the Dodgers in Los Angeles. Of course, the Yankees and Angels will start uh, their series today, Friday, in the American League Championship Series, the ALCS. And 30 Rock is back. Tina Fey, Alec Baldwin, Tracy Morgan. Boy, there's something. That's, that's one heck of a show. Remember NBC's old line used to be must-see TV? This is back for them. It's one of the few things on NBC worth watching. Yeah, even in focus. So 30 Rock was back uh, Thursday night, and it was uh, hilarious. If you didn't see it, I think you can see full episodes on Hulu or whatever. So check that out. So there you go. All about the Lions and the Packers. Uh, the streak at 18 straight losses. <laughs> I, sorry. Uh, uh, Michigan State Northwestern, Michigan and Delaware. Uh, Nick Lidstrom's 1,000th career point. The Phillies win in game one and 30 Rock back. And, yes, happy Bosses Day. I'll give it up to you, boss. Whatever your bosses are out there, go for it. Do your thing. Have fun. Get a cake, some flowers or something. Check it all out. Yournews.com, the Parker and the Man page. Have a great weekend.